Hi, so Universal Audio have just released a brand new plugin called Verve Analog Machines. It's kind of a multi-color box that's able to add subtle to intense saturation, distortion and dirt and it's very easy to use. And there is an Essentials version which is free for the first month. So let's go. Now there are two versions of this plugin, one is called Verve Analog Machines Essentials and that one is free until the 30th of April 2024, after which it will cost $99. And there is the full version, Verve Analog Machines, which has an introductory price of $99 until April the 30th again, and after that it will cost $199. And for both of these effects, you do not need any UAD hardware. This is running on your processor, like all the other plugins that Universal Audio has been running under their Sparks program. And of course, it's VST3 for the Cubase users, as well as AAX and audio units. Now, full disclosure, UAD did give me an NFR license for the full version, so that I can try it out and record this video for you before the final release. But they have not seen this video before I published it. And in this video, I'm just stating how I experienced these plugins during this period in which I tried them. But as always, just go try them out yourself before you buy anything. And hey, the Essentials one is free anyway, at least for the first month. So let's immediately dive into Cubase to see what it's all about. So this is the plugin on a virtual instrument bass track that I'm still working on. So none of this is mixed yet, almost no effects on there either because I'm still choosing sounds and doing the production. But it has some very different sounds so I figured it would be a nice test bed for this plugin. And the first one is, well it looks like a tape machine. Gloss and warmth of a studio tape machine can be gently overdriven. <laughs> Okay, so it can already provide some dirt. The next option is called Warm, another tape machine, the warmer sound of a more vintage studio tape machine. Let's have a listen. Yeah, definitely a thicker sound. Oh, the next one is actually called Thicken, again, a tape machine. Nice. And the last one in this Essentials version is called Vintageize, the sound of a recording that's older than your grandparents. Okay. Yeah, definitely a lot more color. Now the full version has 10 options instead of 4, and it has a couple more controls, but I'll demo that one in a minute and look at the difference. Let's first play with this one a bit more, because let's put it, for example, on the kick track over here, see what it does to that. Let's start with 0. Okay. I think I would like it a little bit more subtle though. It does dirty it up a bit, nice. Now this is a pop production, so vocals are king. Let's have a listen to what it can do on a vocal. I used to hide in the shadows, afraid to let my light shine. But now I'm stepping into the spotlight, breaking free from my own mind. I've been through the fire, and walked through the rain. But every struggle's made me stronger, it's helped me find my own way. I'm unstoppable, I'm a force that can't be contained. Okay, gets dirtier and dirtier. I used to hide in the shadows, afraid to let my light shine. But now I'm stepping into the spotlight, breaking free from my own mind. Yeah, that's really an old style sound. Probably more useful as a real effect. Let me show you where I think this would fit. Let's listen to all tracks and initially without the effect. And then I'll put it in where I think it might fit. I'm gonna seize the moment, gonna live like there's no tomorrow. I'm unstoppable, I'm unstoppable. Yeah, something like that is where it might be useful. And by the way, this vocal is totally dry, no reverb or any effects on it, apart from some EQ and compression. So it's not gonna sound like this in the end, but at least you can clearly hear the effect of the analog machines now. Now let's take a look at the differences of this essential version and the full version. So on the left side you can see the essentials version, on the right side you can see the full version. Over here you can see four options for coloring. 
mostly tape machines except for this last one I think. And in the full version you actually have the same options but also some additional ones. For example this is an additional one. Add gentle harmonics to give your sound subtle crunch. Glow which is tube based it seems. This one is in the essentials version as well. Thicken is in the essentials version. Vintageize is in the essentials version. Distort is new in the full version. Push a vintage tube preamp far past its limits and here it's roar. Overdrive is new, fire is new, and sputter is a transistor pre on the verge of blowing up. And that sounds really dirty on this vocal, for example. I used to hide in the shadows, afraid to let my light shine, but now I'm stepping into the spotlight. Yes, I guess that's the hottest one of the bunch, as it's on the far right and most red orange. Now, what else is different in the full version if we look at the same model? Now, as far as I can tell, it sounds the same between the essentials and the full version, except you have one more control here on the full version called warble in this case, and you have an output level so that you can more easily compensate for any level difference that the effect might cause, so it's more easy to compare. Now, let's, for example, have a listen to what this warble does on the vocal, but let's also drive it a bit. I used to hide in the shadows, afraid to let my light shine, but now I'm stepping into the spotlight, breaking free from my own mind. I've been through the fire and walked through the rain. Well, the wobble is actually quite subtle, and you can change the output level now, of course. I used to hide in the shadows, afraid to let my light shine. But now I'm stepping into the spotlight, breaking free from my own mind. I've been through the fire and walked through the rain. Now, before I try the full version on a couple more tracks, if you like this video or find it useful, please give it a big thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And you can also subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell icon so you know when I post another video. For even more support, you can use the super thanks button below the video or buy anything through the affiliate links in the description to one of these stores. In which case, I will get a small commission on whatever you purchase without any additional cost to you. So it's win-win if you were planning to buy something anyway. And there's also an affiliate link to the full version of this plugin in there, by the way, in case you want to pick that up. But let's check it out on a couple more tracks. Because there's also a main rhythm synth in here, which sounds like this. It's a patch from the Free Vital synth, which I also have a video about, by the way. I'll put the link in the description. So let's try some subtle models from the full version to make it a little bit dirtier. And over here, by the way, you can see that where you had warble on that tape machine, you now have a tone control as the second parameter on this model. Yeah, I think that gives it a bit more impact. Let's listen to that with the rest, but just without the vocals, so we can hear it a bit more clearly. And let's start without. Yeah, I think it gives it a bit more of that edge, which I think is nice for this part. Now let's move on to a small part with a lead synth in there. And without the analog machines on there, it sounds like this. Yeah, we can give that a bit more edge as well. Maybe this thicken model to thicken it up a bit, which is also in the essentials version, by the way. Let's listen to what it does. A bit of warble for movement. It is significantly louder though, so to make it a more fair comparison, I will bring the output level down a bit. Let's listen to it with the rest. First it out. Yeah, I like it more with the thickened machine on there as well. Even though in the full mix, the effect is quite subtle. It does give it a bit of extra. 
And even though this model is in the Essentials version as well, I do like the fact that I can now also give it some movement with the warble and I can reduce the output level so I can compare it a bit more fairly when I switch the effect on and off. So what do you think? Would another color box be useful to you? I think it has some nice sounds which are really easy to get because of the different models that you get and the very few controls. It's basically only more or less of it. And of course the Essentials version is absolutely free for the first month, so it's kind of a no-brainer to pick it up. And if you tried it already, let me know in the comments what you think. Now the example production that I was using in this project is actually one which was generated by Suno AI and I'm currently trying to reproduce it in the traditional way, which I'll probably make a video about later. But if you want to see how you can really easily generate music like this with Suno AI to kickstart your music production, for example, I'm showing you in this video. Check it out, enjoy, and see you soon. Mm -hmm.